Hello from Glastonavon in Dublin, the headquarters of MetAaron, where we bring you the weather forecast and warnings 365 days a year. And it's here that storm naming begins. Since 2015, MetAaron, in partnership with our colleagues in the UK Met Office, has announced a list of storm names every year for the storm season ahead. We do this to increase public awareness of status orange and status red over Ireland or the UK. By giving a weather event a reference point and a character, people find it easier to be aware of them. So rather than saying, for example, winds will reach 130 km per hour, we can say that Storm Stephen will move in over Ireland, giving us very severe and damaging gusts. This gets the message across better than just giving the actual numbers. The process begins every summer when Met Erin and the UK Met Office draft a list based on suggestions from the public. The names alternate between male and female and are a combination of names from Ireland and different parts of the UK and of course we try not to use very long or very complicated names. The duty forecaster here in Glasnevin and the chief forecaster in the UK Met Office name a storm when status orange or status red wind thresholds are expected. Sometimes you might hear a storm name that isn't actually on our list. For example, Storm Ophelia was named by the Hurricane Centre in Miami because in fact it was a hurricane. And Storm Emma was named by the Portuguese Met Office. It approached Ireland from the Azores. We've had one or two controversies with names. Barney, used in 2016, of course, is more commonly associated with the purple cartoon dinosaurs and perhaps wasn't taken as seriously as it might have been. But thankfully, the storm was at the lower end of the scale and nobody was injured. Do remember, if a storm has a name, please, please take it seriously. Think of your safety, the safety of your family and others, and remember to protect your property.